kindergartners, it's Mrs. Schulte here. It's time for our second lesson using Kid Picks and working on making snowmen. First thing you're going to do is find that little green guy. Click on him two times very fast to open the program called Kid Picks. When the program opens, it'll be a black screen first. And then it will take you to a very colorful page. Just click one time on that page and click one time on the word go. And we should be opening up two kid picks. Here we go. Now remember the other day when we started, we want to have a pencil and we want to pick the color that we'd like. We practiced making a lot of circles and most of you did a great job making a snowman head. So today we're going to try to add a body. I'm going to start out with the color gray. And remember, I want to click on the open circle. All right, let's start. We may have to erase this if it doesn't work right, but we're going to make one circle for the bottom and make a middle-sized circle for the middle of the body and a smaller circle for the top. There we have. He's looking good already, isn't he? Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and switch over to black because I would like to have some black buttons on my snowman. There we go. And then it has to be pretty small, but you could make some black eyes. And we could do the same thing. Almost just one little tiny click will make what you want. This is what we did the other day in making the face. Now let's switch over and get a nice orange for that nose. And I'm going to pull down kind of a little, a little oval right there. Great. Now I'd like to switch over to a dark brown for his arms. And now I think I'm going to use what's called the freeform tool. See the line that's squiggly? If you click that, then it makes you draw however you want to. I'm going to give my snowman some nice arms sticking out. And there's some crazy branches, so they're not necessarily perfect at the end. All right. There's his arms. Put one more over there. Great. Now, I'd like to show you, switch back to black, I'd like to show you how to make a hat using this straight line. Let's take the straight line, and you start, and you push down with your mouse and hold it down, and you pull it across to wherever you want it to go, and when you want it to finish, you pick up your finger from your mouse. We can do that, and we can also use the black rectangle, which is kind of a cool thing. Push down your mouse, pull over, and you can make him a hat. All right. If I go back to my straight line, I could put, and if you wanted to, you could put a little band in there so we could have some other color. All right. I'm going to go back, pick out a nice red. And, oh, remember, we need the paint bucket if you want to fill things in. I'm going to fill it in red. I'm going to go back and pick out the black, fill in his hat black, fill in his buttons black, and there you have it. Now, you can add some other things if you would like to. I'm going to go back to the pencil and pick out, I think I'll use that straight line again. We could make some little snowflakes just by making little crisscrosses. Crisscross, crisscross, crisscross. Yours could be smaller, they could be bigger, whatever you want. Now remember, there's one other thing that you could do to get kind of a cool background. Go back up to your paint bucket and then look. And if you see, see, I clicked on blue already, so it's giving me some neat backgrounds. And there's, over on the right-hand side, there's a number, and you can click and go up and down those and look. See what looks like something that I would like for a snowy day background. Ooh, lots of nice choices. I think I'm going to try this one. Now remember, anywhere that's opened is going to get colored in right now. 
And there we go. All right, I hope that you enjoy it, and I'd like you to give it a try yourself. Remember, when it's time to finish, we're going to click slam the door and say, no, we don't want to save the picture today. We're just practicing. <laughs>